This is Stooge Club. Yeah, it's that time. It's a daily dose. I'm the Stooge. You may hear my cat eating in the background. That's going to happen sometimes. Deal with it. So in this episode, we're looking at adult toys and collectibles. So I'm a big collector of toys, comic books, video games, records, all sorts of different stuff. And over time, adult collectibles have become a thing. Now, things like this, you know, your statues, your busts, that type of thing, you've been able to get kind of forever, like for yonks and yonks and yonks. You can always get these type of things in comic book shops. They were just expensive. They've become a lot cheaper over time. But these, easy to get. Okay, so that. We're more talking about the action figures that have become better and better and better and the quality becoming things that you don't want to take out of the boxes anymore. Now, years ago, this was as good as it was going to get. We'll do a close-up of this in a little bit, don't worry. But you had these. Now, these were the, what they call famous covers series uh, by Toy Biz back around the late 90s to about 2000. They're basically dolls uh, with real costumes, you know, real material costumes. That was the whole gimmick. That was the, the best we were going to get. Then over time... We started getting more things like these, the Marvel Select figures that are still highly poseable, highly detailed action figures that have all sorts of articulation and cool things, but can be posed with bases and stuff to make these amazing little display pieces that look fantastic on a shelf and don't just look like a toy sitting there, which, you know, look, I have a lot of those too. You have stuff like the DC Direct Blue Line convention figures. So DC releases one of these type um, every year at conventions only. They're a little bit more difficult to get, but you know it's an exclusive action figure with really nice detailing and shading, and you get an exclusive print, a uh, Jim Lee signed piece. It's you know this is a collectible to display like that, like so you can see the artwork and the actual figure and what inspired it and how it all comes together. I really, really love display pieces like this because they just look so nice and it's something that people come along and don't look at just as a toy. They look at like, wow, look at this amazing piece of artwork. And that's what that becomes, that's very cool. Which leads us more into the realm of things like the NECA figures. So these are flat out not toys for kids at all. And more made to be really nice display pieces from the more basic NECA figures. Like this Robocop with the open front box here so you can see everything. Uh, this is based off the video game. It's uh, the Rocket Launcher. I think it's the... 8-bit or possibly 16-bit, maybe the Super Nintendo Robocop game. Looks very cool. Um, very, very cool. You can see on the back, but we'll, again, we'll insert a, a close-up of these in a moment. And, and, you know, the colouring and stuff, this isn't even a, a toy for almost like a Robocop collector. This is more of a, a video game connoisseur collector, if you, you'll allow me the pleasure of using big words. Um, and then we've got things like this, these amazing, and this is the sort of the next step up in the NECA figures, and they go even higher than this. You get the, the statue-esque, even super ultra higher detail figures that are more expensive, but you know, the Nightmare on Elm Street figures, there's one for every Nightmare on Elm Street. This is number three. Um, Dream Warriors, one of my favorites. The detail of this figure is insanity, and this isn't something that any child would know because this movie's from the 80s to start with. It's a horror movie. Second, it was rated R. Kids shouldn't really be watching this. It's pretty gory. Um, compared to a lot of today's stuff, not so much, but still. And, you know, again, Friday the 13th. Uh, I'm a fan of this as well. Uh, the final chapter figure, I just really liked the design of this figure. Um, the things it comes with and stuff, but again, this is made to be a box that you 
display like this and adults come along and go, wow, that's really cool. Look, it's Freddy. I remember Freddy. How cool does he look? So on and so on. It's a completely different thing. Now, I'll insert some footage of them here. Yeah. So as you can see, the detailing and the difference in these from just basic action figures, basic toys, is amazing. And these are display pieces. These go right alongside things like this, these really nice detailed statues that you can proudly put on a shelf that even an adult will come in and go, wow, that's cool. So these days, toys just aren't for kids anymore. Some big kids like me like them too. And if you like something like Friday the 13th, why not get a NECA figure and put it on the shelf right next to your Blu-ray collection or DVD collection of the box set of the series? It'll look really cool next to it. Maybe that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.